All right, guys, we have had this incredible streak of weather here. Mm -hmm. It's Be been beautiful. Yeah, I fear it's coming to, to an end, though, here. <laughs> you know how we do in Central Florida, Marquise. <laughs> it just it is, it is what it is this time well, of year. All good things have to come to an end eventually, right? But mm. just enjoy it while it's here. It's going to be around for another day, maybe two days. That's is about, about as far out as I can stretch. Let's go for that. Let's go for two. At the moment right now, clear skies. We did have comfortable temperatures this afternoon here in Orlando. We had 92, 93 earlier today. Now we're settling back down into the upper 70s and the lower 80s here in Central Florida. 81 in Orlando, a little bit cooler out towards Wildwood. 79 degrees, still clear skies out in that neck of the woods. Clear skies everywhere we look. Had a bit of an East Coast sea breeze pick up across our coastal communities in the afternoon. You see those clouds continue to move across Orange and Lake County as we speak right now. But for the majority of us, clear or at least mostly clear. For the rest of the evening, temperatures will continue to draw back. It's going to be a quiet start to the morning with bright sunny skies as temperatures fall into the low and the mid 70s. Gorgeous looking to start to your Thursday, but here's what's coming your way. Perhaps in the afternoon we see the winds now begin to switch. Today we had an East Coast sea breeze. Tomorrow we could we pick up just a bit more moisture from the south and the west. We're carrying that Gulf Coast moisture into your forecast and here around the I four quarter potentially between four, five, maybe even six o'clock. We could see just a brief shower. It's in and out before you know it. And then on Friday we stretch you off with more sunshine once again, what's going on in the big picture is that we have a cold front descending across the southeast right now. High pressure. That's our Lord and Savior. That high pressure system slides to the south and here comes that southwesterly flow, flow through Friday in which we do have a 40%, maybe a 50% chance for showers in the afternoon and we'll see that similar chance for showers returning on Saturday. So you might start off the weekend with just a little bit of wet weather. Still, though, we continue to track the tropics. Here's Hurricane Lee. New advisory going to drop at 11 o'clock later tonight. Here's what we know as of 5 o'clock. Still moving towards the west and the northwest at 14 mile per hour speeds. We likely will see this system stay offshore. Doesn't mean some areas won't see any impact. The sea swells will increase towards the lesser Antilles on Friday as the system moves towards the leeward islands. Now, here's a peek at the GFS. We're going to continue to track this through the middle of the next week and possibly into the weekend. And what you see just to the right of your screen. That's Invest 96L likely to become our next name storm, but we're keeping our eyes fixated here. Here is Hurricane Lee, likely a category four by Friday in which we do see a major hurricane continue to move up the Atlantic guided by a trough that continues to slide out towards the east. Nevertheless, though, if you're in New England, New York, Boston, Massachusetts, definitely on the Cape, you could likely see some tropical storm force winds. Still, a lot of change could happen between now and then. That's about a week and a half from now. But as we speak at this current moment, we do have an update about Invest 96 L, 40% chance for further development over the next two days stretch. So could be likely in the next 48 hours, we could have our next tropical storm on our hands. Wind speed is just five miles shy of a tropical storm force as we now move towards the 11 o'clock hour. Here's a look at your seven day forecast though. Bright and sunny tomorrow, still a 20% chance for showers in the afternoon. It's a small window of time. Better chances for showers on Friday as that cold front does draw nearer to us here in central Florida, but that'll cool us down just a bit. We'll be rocking with the lower 90s throughout the weekend and into the start of your next week. Stay with us. We have more news coming up right after the break.